Hey guys, so I'm making this um, this video to kind of show show others and also as kind of like a learning experience for myself. I have a 2012 Toyota Prius C and I noticed there's so many similarities between the 12, well the 11, the 12, the 13, even up to like, uh, they actually discontinued them in 2019. So even up to 2019, they had uh, several similarities. So I'm testing things out, um, parts from the 15, the 16, the 17, just things that would make the vehicle look a lot more modern. Um, I want my car to look a little modern. When people come in, it, I kind of want them to be like, oh, okay, you know, you got like a newer car, you know, just by the interior look. When, when you see the 2012, like as it is, it looks a little older. So I'm buying a few parts. I've been putting parts on here and there. And I'll kind of show you what I've done so far and um, what I've upgraded so far, what I'm waiting on. Um, the first things that I thought of as soon as I got the car, I was like, okay, well, we need a nice, um, we need a nice head unit. We need a nice, like, um, stereo receiver. So I go on eBay, I try to pick up this receiver. It's like 200 and change. And it's got the, um, let's see. It's got the radio, what is it? The radio trim, okay, so it's got the radio trim, it's got the radio, it's a 9 inch, it's really nice, be careful though, this thing was blowing my fuses, it was just making a mess out of the car, you know what I mean, so, what I would do if I'm going to do the head unit, I'm just going to bring it to the shop, um, you know, I'm going to buy a reputable brand, this was unbranded, completely just wasting my time doing that it just kept popping fuses so it ain't worth it I put, I put the other one in of course I was doing it with the battery off so now that that being out of the way so I'm gonna get like a seven or a nine inch probably like a pioneer or Sony I'll figure that out with the shop have them set that all up this way kind of takes the liability and the issues off myself so here we go so the parts I did buy, though, the first thing I wanted to do was, like, um, I got WeatherTech floor mats. I'll show you those. Uh, I recently went to this, um, this junkyard. They do, um, automotive, like, scrapyard kind of style things. Auto Wreckers, that's what I should, it's Auto Wreckers, um, Chapel Auto Wreckers. So I go in there, I'm like, I went to a few other places nearby, and they're like, oh, well, we don't really have any Priuses. We have a few Priuses in the lot, you know. It's not much, but I go to Chapel. They have two or three Priuses, and I'm like, all right, sweet. You guys care if I just come in and, you know, look for this rearview mirror? They're like, yeah, all right. The rearview mirror was a little faded. And I found a 2008 Toyota Prius. Now, we're going back in time, I understand, but it's the same exact mirror. So I grabbed the mirror... And I go over to the desk, and they tell me, "Hey, you can just you're good. You can just have it." So thank you to Chapel Record, um, Chapel Wreckers, Vehicle Auto Wreckers. Uh, they gave me a free, um, you know, they gave me a free mirror. It looks pretty good. So I'll show you around. Okay, so this is the vehicle. Don't mind my Burger King. Um, you know, I've done a lot of work so far on the car. I'm still putting work in. Uh, as you can tell, see this leather right here? It's actually, it's, I don't know if it's leather, but uh, basically there was fabric here, and the fabric was very faded and nasty. I had to pull this piece off from the back, and it's like there's plastic melted. Like, you literally have to cut the tabs off the back, and then I had to glue it. You could do, I'm sure you could do other things to get this off and make this work. It's not perfect, but um, the other side looks a lot better. So, you know, I made this a little bit more modern with a nice, like, nice black leather look. Um, going in here, yes, I don't have this section set up yet. I'm actually waiting on wires, harnesses for the speakers. So I'm not, I'm not going to hardwire the speakers. I didn't really want to wire them in the first place, but I wanted to do this anyways. So I was like, all right. I'll just knock out two, you know, you gotta, 
Uh, we got a speaker here. In order to put the new speaker in, I bought Pioneers. Um, I had to take out the, the three rivets, and then I had to drill in the new um, Pioneer Universal 6.5-inch uh, speakers. I got a um, little tweeter. I, I don't know the size. This was another Pioneer. You can see there's a little red back there. I kind of had to, like, rig up the, um, the tweeter a little bit to make it work. I basically, I took the old mount, I ripped the old tweeter out, and I glued, you know, you don't want to do this, but I stuck it on, I glued it, and it's really, it's really solid, so, you know, you probably want to do it a better way, but I like, I like it how it is, it's stiff, you know, it's not, not going anywhere, I couldn't pull it off if I wanted to, so that's where the tweeter is, um, here you can see it's all red, that's uh, the red tweeter. So yeah, this is the other side. I did the, the leather on this panel too. Same thing. I'm waiting on the speakers here. I had to buy harnesses. Like I said, you can hardwire. I'm probably not supposed to be touching around in here. But yeah, I bought um, there's this harness going to here, which is going to this tweeter. And then I'm going to, I'm waiting on uh, eBay for another harness to this one and that one. Um, this should be really good. So, here's what I really wanted to talk about, kind of show what this video is really about, and that is um, just making the vehicle as good as it possibly can be, and making it more modern as possible, and um, so this is where I can kind of show you. This is the one that came on it, this was a 2012 Toyota Prius C, or Toyota Aqua, uh, model for this. Uh, this is called the climate control uh, panel. I think this is what they call it. Uh, it looks a little, in my opinion, old. I like it, but it looks old. And I saw this one. This one was off of a... Correct me if I'm wrong. I bought this on eBay and it said it was a 15. And I don't think it is a 15. I think it's off of a 17. But maybe they're exactly the same. I don't know. Because it says, like... So when you look up on eBay, it'll say, like... This piece is universal from 11 to 17. But that can't be true because... This piece is different than this piece. And I don't know if you could tell. So I popped this on. Everything's the same. Like, as far as the connector, everything works. And it's like... Yeah, let me see. Maybe. Oh, here we go. Okay. Oh, I'm looking dumb here. Okay. Auto. AC. Okay. Yeah, you guys see. Everything works. <laughs> Trust me on this. Everything works. I'm just... Yeah, you see. Everything works just as it's supposed to. You know. Um, the problem is that I'm coming across. There's this little indent right here. This one doesn't have it, so it's not sitting flush, and that's where we're getting this portion that, like, this won't go all the way in. Now, for most people, you know, you probably wouldn't notice, but I notice when things don't sit flush. So, is it exactly plug and play? Yes, it's plug, I guess it's plug and play, but it's not the proper fit. Like, this isn't, this will stay but my next move is I'm going to I'm going to buy this panel this little um trim piece here for the 17. I'm going to try the 17, not the 15. I'm going to try the 17. But if you guys think I should try the 17, let me know. Also um yeah, so I'm going to get the receiver here. We're going to go with the 17 piece here. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Everything works. The, another thing I would want to do personally, like I said, I got this, I got this nice little mirror. It looks nice. Um, the weather tech, perfectly fitting mats. Um, I'm buying, I don't like the blue. I know it's like a JDM, JDM, you know, it's just not my style. I'm going with the, the black and, um, I'm going with the black and, chrome black and silver whatever however you want to call it uh i literally 
I went over this entire thing. I went over this entire thing, pulled this entire thing out. This thing was so gross. I had to clean each and every individual button. Um, everything. I cleaned everything. And it's still dirty now, but... Alright, so back to the topic. I'm going to be looking into getting 15, 2015, a 2015 bumper. Uh, it's a little newer. Like I said, there there's going to be issues. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it because it's like 300 bucks. This piece I bought for like 30 bucks. I got it on eBay um, for the climate control. That was, you know, that was cheap, so that wasn't a big deal. But I'm going to be looking at that bumper, the front bumper. It's hard to find. It's hard to find in scrap, um, like auto wreckers, because when when these cars come in, they they usually have like a bump, a few bumps on the front, you know, on the bumpers. So that's usually the problem. They usually take some damage on the front. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try a 15. I've I've heard it's a, not an easy fit, but it's close. It's close. And the one thing I heard I would have to do is switch out the front headlights, which I would gladly do. The 15 has nicer headlights, nicer bumper, a little bit more sporty. The fog lights just look more sporty. Everything looks sportier. And then um, the rear tail lights, I've heard their exact fit. Um, don't quote me on it yet. Like I said, I ha I'd have to buy them and install them to truthfully know whether these things fit or not. As you can tell, I fit the climate control piece. And it pops in. It just doesn't fit up with the original, um, you know, with the original radio trim. So I gotta buy another radio trim. So, you know, just a warning. If you guys get this vehicle, I recommend K and N air filters. The but not the cold air, not the cold air air filter. The standard replacement air filter. Like, they got the paper ones, and you got the K&N one. I'm telling you, every time I get a K&N, using the stock um, air air filter, air, um, air box, it just, there's no issues, no problems at all. And it runs a little better, like, maybe it's just me, but I feel like I got a little extra, extra power. These are very slow vehicles, in my opinion. You know, I'm not going super fast. Um, but yeah, I got the air filter, oil change. And the car feels good. It feels pretty sporty. And um, yeah, if you guys want to see any more, let me know. So far, like I said, that's what I've done. I got a few other pieces. Like, if you see these, um, I'll, go, I'll go to this one right here. See this right here? It looks a little worn. I um, might be replacing this. I bought this as well. So, uh, yeah. So I bought a lot of stuff, but we're just going to look into see what else I need. All right. Um, thanks again for watching this video. If you guys have any questions or if you guys have any other ideas, I'm more than glad to try it. I like this little Prius C. It's really good on gas. Right now I'm at, it says 42.6 and I, the longer you drive them, the better the gas mileage too. And if you're going under 70, you're getting amazing gas mileage. So, you know, I usually do about, you know, 55. We'll say 55. 55, 60 and change. And, um, you know, usually it's like 50, 50 miles per gallon on average. So it's pretty, it's pretty good. Sometimes I get 55, 56, depending. Um, but, yeah, these cars are nice. So if you guys have any other ideas... I definitely want to make this vehicle look a lot newer. Um, I'm going to be painting the rims up a little bit. I think I got got some aluminum spray paint. Not spray paint. Um, I got a spray gun and some aluminum style paint color. So I'm going to try it. But I'm like afraid because I don't have a 20 gallon, a 20 gallon um, compressor. I got like an 8 gallon compressor. So, you know, it might not even... You know, I just got to do a couple sprays, but I'll see what you guys think. Like I said, if you guys have any other ideas for this this um, Toyota Prius C, let me know. I know a lot of the Prius parts work for it. I know, you know, a lot of the years for the Prius Cs are kind of interchangeable. So you can see this is, climate control is 
kind of interchangeable, but not really. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. I got spark plugs ready to go. I got the air filter, the cabin filter. I want to do the transmission. I go to a transmission shop the other day, and not a transmission shop. I go to um, my buddy's shop um, to get the oil change, the inspection, etc. And they're they're kind of like, oh well, you need to go to Toyota to do um, uh, to get the levels leveled with the machine, the Toyota machine. I'm like, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, maybe that's true. I don't know. Maybe that's true. But from all the videos I'm seeing, it's just like spill. You spill it out. You wait. Um, pop the plug back in like you would an oil change, and then fill it up until it starts spraying out the top of the the fill. But um, again, I don't know. Maybe maybe there. Maybe I do have to bring it to Toyota to get the uh, transmission fl flushed out. You know. Um, not sure, but yeah, if you guys have any ideas, let me know. Thanks again. Um, please like and subscribe. If you guys have, um, if you guys want to make a portfolio or get into stocks and trading and all that, I have um, my Robinhood down at the bottom and my first trade. I'll have the links down there. Thanks again for watching. If you guys want to see more Toyota Prius C videos, well, I'll probably just come out with them anyways once I get everything done and patched up. But um, everyone enjoy your weekend and I'll see everyone soon.